It's great to have you back. Now, gospel singer, Honorable Dr. Umam Rebecca Malope has been awarded the National Order of Ikamanga. During the ceremony in Pretoria, President Cyril Ramaphosa bestowed other national orders to extraordinary recipients, and they include the late Lady Smith Black Mambazo leader as well, Dade Joseph Shabalala, as well as the late boxing legend, Arthur Maisel. Now, the national orders are the highest award that a country, through its president, bestows on people who have contributed towards the advancement of democracy. And the Queen of Gospel herself joins us live in the studio, Honourable Dr. Mum Rebecca Malope. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. How are you, Ma? I'm fine. I'm good. God is good. God is time. good. Yeah, yeah. I see you are donning the beautiful award. You have your scroll as well. Hallelujah. It, uh, it, it, it feels like I, I must just wear my God to keep on blessing us even during these difficult times. Yes. Yeah, where, where, where coronavirus has stolen our freedom. Yeah. But God keeps on bringing smiles in our faces. Oh, yes. Ah, who wouldn't serve a God like this? Ma. Hallelujah. What does this award mean to you? It means everything. It means, like, job well done. Mm. It means South Africa knows what you've done. Yeah. It means, like, South Africa says, we love you. Mm. We know your work. Right. I've been waiting for this. Oh. I've been... I, I, I've been I've been honored in many different countries, you know, in Africa and then, and then this one means a lot. It's like in my heart. Yeah. And, um, and then, yeah, it means a lot. It's like, I'm, I'm still in my sleep. I'm going to wake up <laughs> to be honored in my own country oh, yes. and say, you, well done. Right. It, it means a lot. I wish my mother was still alive. Oh, mommy. I, I, I wish... And I wish all gospel artists could take from this and say, uh, and work hard and mm. work for the Lord and work in your art, do your best so that yeah. one day you can get this. Yeah. 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 So, so the responsibility that lies ahead now after this award, it, what is it for you then? It, it, it's about me nurturing the, 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 the young artists and really guide them the right way because, mm. you know, you can have the talent, but the character as well counts a lot. Mm. Because if you don't have a good character, you can't have the best talent ever. Yeah. But it can die because your character is not good. Absolutely. So we need to do workshops. I, do, I need to do these workshops just to guide and tell them how, why, how did I do it. Yes. It was not easy, but it yeah. was worth it. Yeah. It, it was not easy, Ma, because you, I mean, you raised us uh, through yeah, your gospel yeah. music. Oh, yeah. No. You know, I came in and, and I said, all right. And, 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 I need to ask God. That's my daughter right there. The, the, the dress code. Yes. Same color. Yes. The haircut. The haircut. I always watch you and you and say, that's my daughter. Oh, ma. Hallelujah. Can I also tell you a story? When I first started working as a news anchor mm. and I had my haircut, they used to call me Sis Ribs. Hallelujah. Everywhere I go, reminding, of course, them, I suppose, of the legendary haircut as well. Um, but, I mean, you, you have stood the test of time. Different eras. Yes. Uh, back in, during apartheid, you yes. were in music, in democracy. Yes. Now we're in a pandemic. I suppose, Ma, just in the few minutes we have with you, even seconds, how did you do it? That's the question. How did you become the legend that's able to go through any era that we've been through? You, I couldn't do it myself only, but asking God to always mm. make me strong and walk with me and don't leave me. Yeah. No matter what, I always go back to God and say, God, you know where you brought me from. You cannot leave me now. Oh. Take, go with me all the Lead my way. Guide mm. me. And he guided me until this far yeah. that I got this. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Mama. South Africa. And, and you were never distracted, Ma. The consistency, the intention to stick to, true to who you are, being authentic brought you this far. Because you know that we're living in a different time. The social yes. media, there's distractions. Yes. We're yes. seeing what everybody is going on. Yes. We feel less than. Mm. But you never deterred from no. your no. passion and your no. vision. I trust in what God has installed in me, yeah. my talent, and my traditional gospel music. That's, that's what made people during apartheid times, we used to sing mm. these songs. And politically, you know, but it's a gospel song yes. you wouldn't notice. Oof. And even a lot of people today, they don't, didn't know that Stembele was, a, Stembele was a political song. Wow. You know, it's a, where we encourage people that hold on there, you know. One day we will be free. One day. Thank you so much. Buyani, all these songs. Oh.
Thank you, South Africa. Thank you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you I so much. You Shuma. We love you so much. Amen. Thank you for all you did for us. Amen. Umam, Honorable Dr. Rebecca Malupi, thank you so much for joining us right here on uh, ENCA. I wish this conversation didn't end, but unfortunately it has to. But you know what? This is the Honorable Dr. Rebecca Malupi. Amen. <laughs> Amen.